All right, my peeps, my peep, my family, my YouTubers. Today we got the Master Force Track Saw. We're going to box that for you. Let's see what's inside. Go over the quality of it. So let's check it out. Now, I've been looking for a track saw for quite some time. I just can't afford the Fest tools and the DeWalt's. Those are way out of my price range to use it for what I use it for. I'm not a wood working guy or nothing. I sometimes build subwoofer boxes for my truck. <clears throat> and I came across this. And I had to buy it. Because I've, I've, I've tried all kinds of things. I can't cut straight for crap. So. Let's see. Actually, let me look at the box. How about that? Let's look at the box right quick. So here's what you get. It's a 10 amp, six and a half inch plunge cut track saw. This is what you get inside. With the bag, the tracks, a couple clamps, three year limited warranty. Yeah, so this is what you get inside. Walk around the box. Some of the specs. Let's see that. On the back is pretty much the same thing as that's in the front. So, yeah. Let's get this unboxed. How about that? Alright. I'll show you guys what's inside. You get the bag. Pretty nice bag. Canvas bag, some little pockets on the outside. I'm sure you use this for it, but okay. Take out the saw. The saw. Two clamps. You see those? They're not the best, but they're clamps. You get the tool to take the blade off. Go right in here. You get this important before returning this tool. Customer service. Back. Get some brushes so it's not brushless. We got paid two hundred dollars for this at home at um Menards. You get a forty tooth blade and I believe a twenty four tooth blade. Get this bag here. The tracks in it. That's it. There's already a blade attached to it, so there's a cord, and there's a long cord. There's the clamps. Show these tracks. Okay. Tracks. 
bag. Nice bag. It's doubled. It has it in and out. Here's your traps. If you could tell, see, uh, it's kind of off on the the groove there. Kind of push them over there. Yeah, so that's that one track. Another track. You can see they're not really accurate. I'm putting these in there. Groove there, but I suppose you can move them around. Same thing here. These things are all over the place. So yeah, for the price you pay, I guess. Pay for what you get. That's the that's the saying. See this one here? Look at this. All this double-sided tape, whatever the heck it is. Yeah, it's not the best. And I have tried it already. I just put it on a box so you guys should check it out. One thing I will tell you, buy new blades. Because it comes with the, the 40 tooth blade. But look what it does to the edges. Let's see if you can focus on that. See what it does to the edges of that? Just all chowdered up. So, I would get a new blade because see this one here I'll show you that it's fresh and you have to cut into that so as soon as you make your first cut it cuts right into this and gives you your line that will always be your line so you want to make that nice and accurate so you might want to get a new blade I was going to buy a new blade, but I kind of trusted the blade it came with. But, nope, you get what you pay for. Junk. Okay, show you how this go together. Okay, so. Here's the guide rails in the back. They only put them down one. They should have them in the middle, too. But they don't. Which is... I'm dumb, but... All right, let me uh, connect two of these together and show you how they go. Let me grab the Allen wrench right quick. All right, we're back. So, you have to unscrew these. Just make it for it. Might have to get about halfway, half and half. big things about these is you gotta watch out so you don't over tighten them because if you over tighten them they protrude right there I haven't done it to this one but yeah that's what that's gonna happen so, the other one just this one Going together there. Put this bag on here. So you guys can see that. It's not the most precise. See that? But you get as good as you can. I have to lay it down like that. Flat. Just get a little tightening. All right. So that's that. 
you can see it's not really super accurate. Okay. So let's track the saw. <clears throat> so here's the saw. I'm guessing this is that magnesium, aluminum. Here's your angles, your depth. You can set your depth how deep you want to go. This side. So see here, back here a little bit. See here, when you gotta push it down, you push this up and unlocks this. Right there. After you do that, and then you go down. Now if you want the lock, lift this up prior to pushing that down. And you lift that up. Push down, it locks. So now she's locked. When you're done, you gotta push this down, back up. Okay. This side here. It does slide nicely. Now, until you get these sticky parts, just wipe all that off. Right here. See, right there it grabs. See but it feels like wobbly on there. It's got some wobbly. A little wobble. Right back here. It's got these nuts here. You turn them. You see that turns these cams in. So is you set it on there get it tight that way and tighten on your cam this one too see wobbleness is gone no more left and right but it's tight you gotta loosen it up make it and that's perfect minimal wobble slide nicely Step it right around here. It grabs for some reason. I don't know why it's grabbing there. Grab in there. Let's say you want to make a cut right here. Set that there. You can get these clamps. And then we go down the channels these channels here see that there so you go on those channels you tighten them down to your wood and make your cut so this is what you get in the box long cord it helps out not the screwdriver this here and the blade crappy blade this is the 24 tooth that's inside here I already used the 40 tooth very quick just to test it and I told you it just destroyed the edge plastic edge on this so Buy an expensive blade, like a Diablo or something. Or the more teeth, the better. To make this first cut here, because after that the blade will never touch this again. So yeah, guys, that's my um, review of this, the Master Force. track saw by Menards yeah you buy these you find it at Menards
I paid, I want to say 200 bucks for it. And for what I paid for it, it's worked great for me. Made pretty accurate cuts. I haven't, I didn't screw any wood up like I normally do. So yeah, I'll, next one I'll upload one of me using it and show you guys how it actually works. So yeah, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Till the next one.